Hard times shaped the life of this 36-year-old artist. Abandoned as a child, Zulu turned to painting for comfort, but family issues dominate his work. With all the troubles of this world, this is family, and the man is trying to soothe his wife and child with music. For Zulu, art is a release, but it's also a way that he can help others. He teaches underprivileged children in this region of northern Rwanda and charges nothing for his services. I've been teaching these kids for three years now. They're very talented. He teaches about 15 children, and most of these paintings are their work. 11-year-old Elias is among the best. Zulu started teaching me how to paint three years ago. I really enjoy it. The project was set up here in Musanze by arts and culture charity Red Rocks. And most of those, these kids we're working with have had a certain kind of trauma, a certain kind of sadness or grief that they're dealing with. Uh, so when we started painting with Zulu, who is the artist, and I also paint, we looked at that painting not only as a skill, but also as therapy. Because uh, most of them hear the trauma and the pain that they're going through, they won't communicate really. You see them and you're like, oh, these kids are fine, but actually they're not fine. Uh, like some of the kids, when he just interviewed, he's one of the parents that we have. Uh, for He has two parents, uh, but uh, they're still struggling. And uh, they've had sudden hardships in life that have caused them to suffer. But through the painting, they grow. Msanze is perhaps one of the regions that attracts the most tourists and Harrods organization is using this exposure to empower some of the poorest people in this region. Zulu sells the children's work alongside his own and gives the money to their families. I can make about five dollars for each painting and use this for pocket money or give mom to buy soap and clothes. I've seen the difference. When they paint, they put their stress aside and just paint. They're really good at painting. I get happy when I see them benefit from their talent. The aim is to empower these children, to give them a way to express themselves and maybe make a living in the future. And of course, to have a little fun. Catherine Mwando Sanze, Rwanda.